All right, I want to take a quick video showing you this GE steam washer slash dryer combo. This is for uh, people who don't have a dryer outlet. Uh, what you do is you put both your, uh, it serves as both a washer and then as a dryer. So it's pretty neat, it's pretty compact. And I just wanted to give you a walkthrough so you can see um, how well and what how good condition it's in. And really the only cosmetic flaws I see on this is it seems like there's a little bit of, a little bitty scratch right there on the face plate and let's see if I can get I don't think you can there's a little bit of scratching up here but everything looks really good in a minute I'm gonna plug it in and uh, run a uh, load of clothes so that you can see it operate they so looking at it just a while ago I do see two dents. They're small, but they are there just to point those out. There's one there, and I think one right about there. Wait. In the back, everything is good. And it'll come with a drain hose, uses a regular 120 outlet plug, and the two um, hot and cold water uh, faucets. And this side. Again, in really good condition, almost like new open up the inside for you I'm gonna plug it in now and run some clothes. All right, here's my setup to test. I've got the wire running into my outlet over here. And I've got the hot and cold hoses running into a branched off water faucet to simulate uh, both hot and cold. So we'll make sure our wash contains both of hot and cold so we can see water come through both hoses and prove that it works. And then uh, I got my uh, drain hose here just going into a Home Depot bucket. All right, let's get going. All right, first I'm gonna transfer my laundry into the washing machine. All right, close the door. And now in this compartment, I'm gonna put my liquid detergent. close it all right now I'm going to turn it on okay and as you can see it has a number of different settings each one of these settings it starts here on normal but as you twist it this little light lights them up so I'll just twist them so you can see how they all work and we'll look here and see how it changes All right, so we're back at normal. And uh, I'm just gonna run the clothes. We'll do a quick cycle so you can see that everything works. Uh, so I'll select the uh, soil level right here. I'll select the extra light. And then temperature will do warm so that it pulls water from both hoses. And we can just test that. Uh, spin speed, ah, spin speed, I guess we'll just put it up on high. Um, dry, we'll set it to 
normal. And what else? I think uh, I think I can make this go to time saver here. Yeah, so let's look at time saver. So I'm guessing it just runs through each cycle quicker. And then if I needed to add extra dry time, I can do that. So right now, this, this cycle will take place a uh, total of two hours and two minutes is what it estimates. And uh, yeah, so I'll just uh, hit start and then I'll come back at different times and show you it working. And here we go. Okay, so it's filling up with water, I believe. This is door lock. Uh, if you see that blinking, that's because of the frame rate of the camera. Um, in actuality, there's no, there's no blinking going on. It's just the uh, camera making it look like it's blinking. All right, we'll check back here in a second. I want to point out that when I switched the, to time saver mode, my spin speed went to medium. I guess that's just to make it uh, quicker or whatnot, but uh, just point that out. All right, I uh, didn't realize it, but earlier I actually had this set on delicates instead of normal. I thought, <clears throat> I thought I had it on normal, but I didn't. And so anyway, um, I went ahead and stopped it and then just switched it to a time dry because I don't know if on delicates, if it uses less uh, heat from the steam. I mean, I don't, I don't quite sure how that works. So anyway, I just stopped it went to the time dry and then uh, put in uh, about 30 minutes so I got about 14 minutes left and uh, anyway the whole purpose of the video is just to show you that it works so uh, I'm gonna let this finish and then uh, I'll pull out the clothes and we can see if they're dry all right okay has finished the cycle and I'll pull out the clothes. And I'm filling them and they are a mostly dry, but I would say they're still a little damp. So what I'll do is I'll just put them back in. Close the door, turn it back on. And I'll select it to auto extra dry and just let it run. Let's see. Normal. Start. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and see how the clothes are doing right now. Just spin in here an extra hour and a half. So let's see what it does. All right, just uh, hit the power button so it's shutting down. And I'm waiting for this uh, door lock light to go off and then I can open it up. All right, it's turned off now and we can open it. And the clothes are dry.